January 30th, St. Martina, Virgin and Martyr. St. Martina, a Roman virgin of an illustrious family, lost her parents while she was still young and distributed her vast fortune lavishly to the poor. Under the Emperor Alexander, she was commanded to sacrifice to the imaginary gods and refused to commit this great crime. First, she was subjected to many kinds of tortures and finally condemned to the beast in the amphitheater. There she was left unharmed, but by divine protection. Then she was thrown into a burning furnace and again was preserved safe. Some of her tormentors, moved by this unheard of miracle, embraced the faith of Christ and received the crown of martyrdom. At Martina's prayers, God worked many marvels. Angered by these, and confounded by the virgin's consistency, the judge ordered her beheaded. All this took place when St. Urban I was pope. Her relics were discovered in a vault in the ruins of her old church and translated in the year 1634 under the Pope Urban VIII. He built a new church in her honor and himself composed the hymns used in her office in the Roman breviary. God calls his saints to him at every age. Little children turn to him with faith and love, strong men in their mature years, white-haired grandparents in service of God in their golden age and we find martyrs ready for every torment at all stages of life. What is important is to be ready and to desire the most important day of your life, that of our death.